Let me welcome you to CIT 125, which is Introduction to Digital Mapping. I am Vince DiNoto, the author of this course and the designer of how it all composes and works together. Let me tell you a little bit about the course. It's composed in three major parts, which we call modules. So we're going to talk about what's in each module a little bit so that you have a better feel for what you're going to be doing in each module. I'll first discuss some items with you directly through the video and then we're going to show some things on the computer so that you can get a feel of how it's going to look once you get into the content management system. So the first thing that you're going to do when you come into the course is you're going to have to take a syllabus quiz. You'll be able to see some parts and I'll show you that in a moment. But before you can move actually into the content of the course, you're going to have to take this quiz um, which is called a syllabus quiz and that quiz basically makes sure that you understand some of the rules and regulations of the course and then you'll be able to move into the actual geospatial content which is what the course is based upon. So you have to score 100% on that quiz. You can take it as many times as you need to until you can score 100% on that quiz. Then you're going to move into a module. And let's assume that we're moving into the first module. You'll come in and everybody will take what's called a pretest. It'll be a multiple choice test, and the test will have 20 questions on it. If you pass that test at a 90% level, then you can try to test out of this module. If you score under a 90%, then you'll go through the complete module. So let me work on each part of that for you. So, if I scored a 90% on the pretest, I will then move into what's called the Credit for Prior Learning Authentic Case Study. And what that is, is a real world scenario, and you will be given the basic information that you need to know about, and what you're to produce, and how that production is going to be graded. And some of that grading is on creativity. If you score 90% on the authentic case study, the credit for prior learning case study, you will then be done with the first module, or if you were in a different module, you'd be done with that module, and you would move to the next module, assuming you're not in the third module, where you'd be done with the course. So that's one methodology to move through. But we think what most students will be moving through is they will take the pretest, they will probably score less than 90% on it, and they'll move actually into the module's content. And so the module's content is composed of readings and tasks that you need to accomplish. So you will have a reading, but there is no textbook that you need for this course, you'll have a reading about a subject area, and you may then have a task that you need to do to show competency of that material. The readings a lot of times show how to do it and we give you the data that I used um, in creating the um, reading so you can follow along with the actual data on your computer. You will then have this assessment for most of the readings. Not every reading has an assessment or the assessment may not be in the same modules the reading is in you'll do this assessment. You must score at least 70% on the assessment. And we'll show you online what the, one of those assessments look like. You'll score at least 70% on that assessment. If you score less than 70%, you can repeat it until you get up to 70%. At that point, you will move into an authentic case study after you complete all these assessments. So there might be five or six assessments that you have to do in a module. After you complete them all at 70%, you'll move into the authentic case study. You will, again, as with the prior discussion of case studies, have prompts of what you're trying to solve. You will use multiple tasks that you've learned to solve the problems. And then you will give your instructor a report on what you did and how you did it and what you concluded. You will then be graded on that. If you score 70%, or higher, you'll move to the next item. If you score less than 70%, you will have two additional opportunities 
to get up to 70%. So you can resubmit it up to three times, total submission three times. After you complete the case study, you will take a post test to show how much information that you've gained through this module. So that's basically the methodology. You can sort of test out of the module by doing a pre-test at 90% and doing a credit for prior learning case study at 90%. You do both of those at 90%, you move out of the module and go on into the next module. If you score less than 90% on either one of those items, then you go through a set of assignments and then go to the authentic case study to move through the module and you must score to 70% rate. We're using Blackboard as our content management system. That's sort of the structure that goes around the whole course. If you've never used an online course management system or you've never used Blackboard, there are some tools online that you can use to help you understand and there's some tutorials to help you understand how you do that. So I think what's important at this point for me to do is to actually go onto my computer and show you how to do some of this management, what some of the tasks look like so that you have a feel for what this course composes. So let's take a look at how this works. Okay, we're now on the class's main screen, the screen that you first come to when you log into the class in Blackboard. You'll see there's an area called announcements here and over here we have a menu. We're going to go to start here in just a moment. But you see there's three different blocks of information. This is the course direct material in this block here. But we're going to go to start here so we can just see how this develops. This gives you a nice landing page. It ha really has a lot of the links that you see here in the top box and here in this lower box. So you can see there are things like a welcome to the class and that you need to install Blackboard Instant Messenger. That's one of the ways that I'll communicate with you and that you can communicate with me. Now remember with an instant messaging service only when I'm available will I be online. I won't be continuously online. Probably email is the best way to communicate but if you find me online I'll be more than willing to answer your questions um, if I can possibly do that. You, there is a plugin that you install to do that. We're going to assume that you've already installed ArcMap on your computer. Um, we're going to be showing you things using ArcMap 10.4. But you could also use a lower version, but we can give you a version to install on your computer, and there is no charge for that version. And there is also no direct textbook for this class. So here's how you get to your grades. Starfish it explains there is a help area when we see that students are struggling or we've missed you from class for a few days we um, can send you messages just so that you know that we're concerned about you and that hopefully get that little reminder that helps you get to the next point. We do want you to read the syllabus in detail and there is a quiz on the syllabus and I'll talk about that in just a moment. So this is the start here page a lot of those links are right up here from the Start Here page, and I'm going to follow a couple of these links. Announcements are things that we want you to know. They'll be appearing right on the main splash page as you come in. Here's how you email me. You click on this link, and you will be able to email me. Let's click on the syllabus here. You'll see there is a course syllabus. You click on that. It is not just this one page. But instead, there are multiple pages, nine pages to the syllabus. Let's see, click on page five, and it shows you some information about the syllabus. Click on page four, some different information appears there. So it does have multiple pages. We'll go back to page one, and you can see what is there. And I'm going to go back to the Blackboard course. And it tells you things about dropping the course and disability statements and course netiquette. And the one thing that you have to pass is you have to pass the syllabus quiz. And you have to pass it with 100%. It's a very short quiz. It sort of tells us that you started the class and that you just didn't sign up for the class and sort of forgot about it. It shows that you've actually started the class. Well, I'm not going to do the syllabus quiz on video because we want you to honestly answer these questions, but they are important to make sure that you understand. 
So I'm going to go do the syllabus quiz, and I'll be back in just a few moments. All right. I'm back from doing the syllabus quiz. I did my 100% on the syllabus quiz. I'm going to go down here to Module 1, click on that. And if I had not passed the syllabus quiz, I would only be seeing this lower line telling me to go take the syllabus quiz. But since I was able to pass the syllabus quiz with that 100%, what I now see is take the module pretest. This is module 1 pretest. The other two modules would look very similar to this. The pretest is multiple choice. If I scored at 90% or higher, I can move directly into the end of the course um, and do the authentic case study. So we can complete the course for prior learning that you have. Um, if you already know the material, there's no reason to go through all the material. And if you score 90% on the end of course um, for prior learning um, case study, then you'll get an A for the this module of the course and move on to the next module. But we don't really expect necessarily that most people will pass this because most people will be somewhat novice to this field. And so the pretest, if you score less than 90% on it, will then open up the rest of the course material. So let me go take the module pretest and I will be back to show you what happens at that point. I've taken the module pretest now. I scored 75%, so I didn't meet that 90% threshold. I went back over and clicked on module one again, and now it looks very different than it did before. I'm going to scroll down on this page just for a moment here. And there is the syllabus quiz that we saw before, and there's the pretest. And notice these are all just building and going down the page. This item here will always remain at the top of the page for each module. Each module will have a slightly different item here because of some of the content, but you will have basically the same set of rules. Notice it says there are eight lessons to read. This little guy shows you that there are lessons and what the topic of the lesson is. And there are five technical skill assignments. The TSA tells us that there is something that you have to do, turn in, you got to get a 70% on it to be able to move forward. So there is this TSA. Not every lesson will have a TSA. Not every TSA will have a lesson because the lesson may have been in a previous module, but the TSA is in a different module. So those do occur also. So if we look down here, we see lesson one, the introduction to geospatial technology. We see the little guy here, so we know that's a lesson. If I click on that lesson, it starts with a video and then gives you a little description and we then go to a button it's projection and you can read about projections and the different types of projections and imagery all kinds of information that's going to be useful to you and then we move to geographical coordinate systems and you can read about geographical coordinate systems and so on again there is no textbook for the class instead all the material is online and it is also in a downloadable format. Let's see if I can go back a couple screens for you. Right up here at the top, you say click here, and you can download that as an Acrobat file, and then you can print it. We go back to the course, then we see that there is a lesson two. Again, if we click on it, we'll go actually to the lesson, and we've got some things that you can also download data that I use in this example as well as downloading the file and there are other hyperlinks throughout and so you can see we give you screenshots so you know exactly what's going on let me go back to blackboard but after I read lesson two notice there is a technical skill here this is something that you have to produce I'm going to click on that link and all of the technical skills will basically have the same headings, concept, resources, data, requirements, and how you're going to be graded. So here's the requirements, and each of these requirements has a certain percentage of the total grade. I always grade worth 100%, and so you can see that the first part is worth 25%, the third part is worth 10%. Let's see, third part, add an image to a map, show the map and the table of contents. So that is what you need to produce so that I can then take a look at it. 
So you can see what is required for this one. Well, I don't see any other lessons. Why don't I see any other lessons? Well, I've not completed these lessons at at least a 70%. And actually, it's just this one technical skill that I've got completed at 70%. The lessons don't have anything you turn in. The technical skills do. So let me complete one of these lessons and grade it. And we'll come back and show you what happens next. I've completed that technical skills lesson. I've refreshed my screen. This part again stays up here at the top as we talked about before. And we come down here and we see these items that were previously on the screen when we, before we did any real work. And then these items that we saw previously. But now there's a new item called Symbology and Classification. Here's the lesson. Here's the link to the lesson. So we can see the link that has a video to start. So a lot of the lessons have videos. Again, the lessons are also downloadable as a PDF. And there is a TSA that goes along with symbology and classification. And if we go there, we see that it has the same general look. 40% for map two. Map two, create a map showing the different types of roads for either a state or a county based on the MTFCC codes or another recognized coding system for roads. And the file is Roads Missouri there. And so you can see we give you the data that you need to use. Once you've completed all of these lessons in this module, you will then be able to open up the case study. The case study uses multiple concepts from different learning activities that you have. You put them all together to create an authentic case study. And those are defined for you also. We won't come up with those, but in general we don't give you the data for the case studies because we expect you to do a little bit more research. Now, if you haven't got to the point of knowing how to go collect data, yes, we'll give you the data for it. But these are a little bit more open-ended than the lessons are. So be aware that, that you have this more open-ended type concept here um, on the case studies. When you finish the case study and score at least a 70% on it, you'll then have a post-test that you'll take. And this is just for us to see how much knowledge you have actually gained, uh, making sure that what we have been teaching really goes well with the post-test and so that will not count in your grade but we will have this post-test to do and after you finish doing the post-test it will then when you go to module 2 and I'll click here on module 2 and you'll see I can't see any content here yet because I've not completed the case study in the post-test so once those would be completed I could then see information in module 2 and then it follows the same format as module 1 did with lessons and readings and activities to do and then you come back to the point that you'll have another case study and another post test and you'll have a pretest also before you actually start the module and again if you score 90 percent on the pretest you immediately go um, to the case study where um, you can prove your expertise there and again if you get 90 percent there um, you will have completed prior learning in this module and move on to the next module if you don't score a 90% on both of those items, then you'll go through the details of the module. So good luck with the course. Reach me through IM, email, phone calls, and um, we'll try to assist you however we can. First thing is you got to get the software installed before you can go any farther. So have a good semester, and if you need me, please contact me.